Hey everyone, Josh Jr. here at a new location. We are at Temelo State Park outside of Bend, Oregon. We're here doing some uh, fun uh, rock counting adventures. We're going to go pick up some obsidian, some all, all kinds of things like that this weekend. So, just want to do a quick show around of our campsite. Nice little campsite here. Now this park isn't one of the best parks in the world. Uh, kind of noisy. It's next to a busy road. You can hear Highway 20 off to the distance from all the traffic and that. But you know, it's a place for us to stay at night and that's what's important. And you get a campfire and cook out and all that type of stuff as well. But yeah, we had no problem making it here. We were, I was kind of worried at first because mind you, we're only towing our 25 foot Terry trailer with a half ton Tahoe. And going up over Highway 22 to Highway 20, I was kind of going to be a little concerned with that because of uh, uh, just I haven't done it before and I don't like towing this much weight up a steep incline with uh, a half ton rig. But did it just fine. Uh, second gear, 45 miles an hour, right across the top. Uh, went really good coming down the other side. No problem keeping everything under control. So we're over happy. What this does is that opens it up this side of the state a lot more for us since we are in western Oregon, that's where we live. And for Ann's, or for the rock counting adventures, uh, be a lot more over here on this side of the state, like up around Prineville, further east of Bend, and other places like that. So, hey, this is going to be a, a fun experience. So, later on we'll get the fire going, have you guys sit next to the fire with us, that'll be fun. And uh, we're going to just have a good time this next few days. Uh, this will probably be stretched out over a couple of different videos, so I can keep them shorter. I know my last video was 22 minutes, kind of apologize for that. Try to keep them under about 15 minutes, but hey, I'm still learning this stuff. I'm still trying to figure it all out, and if it ends up over 20 minutes again, I apologize. If it's under, fantastic, but uh, enjoy yourself, and we're going to do our best to enjoy ourselves here as well. Well, it's later in the evening now. Fire's going. Small fire. To my standards, anyway. That's a small fire. And, let's see. What else have we got going on here? Yeah, I know. I know Burkett's here with me, but what the heck. We've got a couple of burgers going. Miss Jaws Jr. set up the fixings for the burgers. We're now just waiting for our other guests to arrive. Last word I got there in Madras, but that's okay. We are set up, going to enjoy the evening, and enjoy a nice warm fire, and just kind of relax and unwind, do what we can do. But yeah, one of the best parts of being out and about doing this, it's right there. Fire is therapy. Okay, let's see what's going on with the burgers now. I think we're getting close to being able to flip them. Like my little $30 grill. Good will find. Um, I'll have to flip them all one more time. But yeah, $30 good will find. Not too bad. Back to fire. Well, that's all for now. Good morning, everyone. Here's Simon. He 
he's wanting to go on a walk. He is wanting to go on a walk. Hey everyone, we are about 20 miles east of Bend here at the intersection of us that leads up to Prineville, Oregon. I'll just do a quick show around of everything that's going that's here, which is a lot of nothing. We're on our trip further east, so be back with you in a minute. Hello everybody, I'm back. We're up here. I'll let you know where we're at. We're at Glass Butte which is uh, southeast of Bend, Oregon. And I don't know what people are making the big deal about it here. I mean, there's a few things on the ground. I don't understand what the big deal is about this. I don't see very much obsidian around here. I mean, it's not like every place you walk around that there's obsidian laying around. I mean, I, I just don't get what the big deal is here. I don't understand. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. So I guess I'll get back with you when I actually see some obsidian. Oops, sorry for the sun in your eyes. But when we get across to where we find some pretty good quantities of obsidian, I'll show it to you. But here, it's just, there's not much here, from what we were told. Yeah, I'm just kidding, as you can tell. Uh, coming up here, here, I'm going to do this here. Turn this around. I'm going to walk down here in a minute. Sorry for the noise on the zoom. You see that pile right there? That's an entire pile of obsidian pieces. Right above that sagebrush. And I don't know if you can see it reflecting or not. I can't tell here in the camera. But uh, I'm going to walk down there and I'm going to take a look and see what's there in that particular piece. Be right back. Okay, here's that sagebrush that we saw. And this may look kind of rough looking, but look at that there. But then when you turn it over, look at the shine. Did you hear that? The sound of glass? This is full of obsidian. And this is the more common black stuff that's found around here. So, yeah, not too bad. Well, I'll show you more as we find it. Hey, everybody. Uh, first, I need to apologize. There's some wind here, so there's going to be some wind noise. Um, sorry about that again. I wanted to show you guys something. And for, the, for those of you that's not around the Pacific Northwest, who's not seen something like this, you're going to be amazed. This is impressive, and I'm sure there's even better places than this. We're not even around a, a small fraction of, of this area here at Glass Butte. There is so much here. Here, take a look at this. I mean, it's just incredible on what's here. And 
you look out here. Now where we're at is kind of on the east side of it. Can't go, shouldn't be over on the other side of that fence. But we came up to an area down here that it is four-wheel drive access only with a rig with some ground clearance. Sorry, if you own a uh, Subaru, you're not making it. I wouldn't come here with anything less than that. But look at the colors here. I'll be showing you some more. Hey everybody, I'm back again. Uh, I just wanted to show you another example of what's up here at Glass Butte. And I hope this shows up because it's just incredible. So take a look at this. This entire hilltop is covered with mahogany obsidian. Just incredible on how much is here. I'll show you some close-up here. Okay, I just had to show, stop and show this to you. We're not picking any of this stuff up here. We're going to another spot. But there's so much here. It's just incredible. It's beautiful. This is just, I've never seen anything like this before. I'm a native Oregonian and I never, I've, this is the first time I've been here. And I am just blown away by, with what I'm seeing here. So hopefully you're as blown away as I am. I wish you could be here in person. But yeah, it's incredible. Back with you again soon. Hey everybody, it's been a while since I've uh, shown you anything, at least for us anyway. If I'm looking a little tired and a little dirty, uh, there's a reason why. I'm going to show you something. I'm not telling you where it's at, but I'm going to show you something. And we were able to get some of it out. But the rest of it, but the rest of it we can't. So, there you go. That's just a big old chunk of obsidian. And we've got some of it out. And, there is a big chunk in that hole that came out. So, there we go. Uh, it's been a day. We found a, we found a lot. Uh, left a lot behind. And just seen a lot. Took a lot of pictures and some of the video that you've seen prior. But it's been a fantastic day so far. And we're about ready to call it wraps here and uh, head on back. We may hit stop at another spot or we may just go clear back to the trailer. It depends on how we feel. But yeah, today's been a day. Been a lot of fun, a lot of hard work, and uh, looking forward to coming back and doing some more of it. But there is just an incredible amount of obsidian around here. Stuff just laying around on the ground. I mean, you could see obsidian flows 
from a half a mile away. And they're just out in the ground. You drive down, you drive up and down some of these uh, little roads out here, and you can just see the sun reflecting off of the shiny pieces of obsidian all over the place. So if you're a rock hound, or if you just like obsidian, this is the place to come. So, uh, I'm going to put you guys up for right now, finish uh, up with some of our cleanup work and get some of our tools put up, and uh, may talk to you here real soon again. So, I'll show you one more time. This is just incredible. Talk to you soon. Hey everybody, we're finally back at the campsite, ending the day of chasing around this obsidian. Let me show you some of the stuff that we got here. Hopefully the colors will show up. But this is a piece of it. You can see some of the different colors and stuff in it. And then here's another. We got a bunch of other small pieces and stuff. But fire's going, dinner's on, rig is unloaded, and we're going to call it evening. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Just remember, everyone's life is an adventure. Then there's mine. This is the Adventures of Jaws Jr. See ya!